Hi, I'm Jen Race. I'm the co-owner of Sage Coffee House and Tea Garden. How did your business come to be? Um, well, basically, if I was going to stay in the county, I needed to do something that I wanted to do. So, I created it. And you created a little coffee shop right on the end of the building. I sure did. The little coffee shop's been here a while now. <laughs> what is it about your work that appeals to you? Uh, being my own boss definitely absolutely appeals to me. Um, setting your pace at your time definitely appeals to me. Can we pause for one second? Yeah, sure. Cool. What led to you hanging art up in your business? Dave Nadok, essentially. I mean, obviously, I always had something. I always have art all around me. So um, I did have just sort of not local, not just court, kind of prints, sort of restaurant-y type of art in here. And Dave Nadok came in, and we decided that we needed each other. I was a space. He was an artist, and it's basically how it all started. And then from there, once you, know, once you kind of put an original artwork up on the wall, it's really does sort of spiral on its own. Other people that do it ask and blossoms from there, really. Speaking of which, do you have any advice for aspiring business owners? Oh, that's a toughie. Um, be sure on what you want to do. Don't let anybody else tell you what you want to do. Know what you want to do. Make steps to put you in that direction. Don't lose sight of your goal. It's tough to be your own motivation. So, stay focused, I guess, really. Yeah. Uh, what have you found that helps you stay focused? Um, really, I think the biggest thing is really just getting up every day and doing it. Like, just, you know, starting, even though I don't have a boss or I don't have, I mean, I have set hours here, but no one's going to fire me if I don't come and put the key in the door and turn the tumbler, you know? So I really just think that setting a routine for yourself and, and, you know, keeping it the same, doing it every day, being here by a certain time and not, you know, you've got to be your own motivation because when you're self-employed, you don't usually get a paycheck. So there better be some other motivating factors in there. <laughs> Were there any surprises going into business all on your own? Oh, of course there are. Um, you know, you're responsible for everything, good and bad, all of it. You're responsible. If it's going to happen, you're the one that's going to do it. And I don't think you realize that in the beginning. I think you do, but I don't think the reality of what that really, really is yeah. until, you know, you've put 60 hours in that week or you leave here after eight and it takes you another two to restock for tomorrow. That kind of thing, you know? So yeah, there's been a ton of surprises over the years. Oh yeah, our art show, where's my paperwork on that? Our art show this year for Block of Art is uh, three guys by the name of Big Chuck, Charles Moran, and Michael Watson. Their show title is Mountain Movement and it is the illustrated and collected works of the three gentlemen. It looks to be, uh, there's some tattoo artists, so it looks to be sort of interesting. We never did a show predominantly focused on tattoo artists so should be some interesting stuff uh so that being said there's tons of stuff going on this year's block of art i think 11 is going to be better than ever there's a ton of stuff that's looking really great the website looks amazing so um definitely come down it's going to be a beautiful weekend end of april come down enjoy maybe create All right.